Good evening, everyone. And uh, sorry, I have not taken my laptop, so the lastest version of the slides have not been here. So I will uh, use the website and uh, uh, the slide to introduce ontology for you as well. And uh, I guess some people already heard about ontology project, and uh, also some people heard about on-chain company. So the people asking, always asking, what is the relationship between ontology, uh, on-chain, and NEO? I want to take one minute to just uh, explain the, the relationship and the history from our team. And, and uh, in the 2015, oh, not 2014, and uh, Da Hongfei is uh, built the uh, on share, not is before is currently new the project, and also we got uh, he got a lot of requirements from the financial institution and the enterprise and governments. They want to build their own solution, blockchain solution. So we figured out that is should not work by a public blockchain because it's community based, not for technical service. So we built a company called OnChain, private technical service for the uh, financial institution or enterprise and governments, and based on that. So the OnChain is a technical company. OnChain also has their own framework. Uh, before it's called DNA, it's kind of uh, it's go language based the, uh, the, the infrastructure of blockchain. And in last year, 2017, uh, we figured out there's uh, a lot of issues for the um, permission of private blockchain solution. We actually worked, uh, uh, many products have been done in China for the financial institution or enterprise, even for governments. But we figured out uh, that is technical workable. They already have a, a product running, and the technical is running very well. But in business process or ecosystem, it's difficult. That's why, because the blockchain is built the trust, but when you do a permissioned solution by yourself, even some of the enterprise with their own partners, those kind of small ecosystem is difficult to extend. And the outside, the ecosystem is not willing to join them to do that. So we think, okay, we should use public blockchain. Public blockchain is the future. But when you find this currently public blockchain, we have a lot of digital assets, and uh, this seems still is another parallel world. It's no link with uh, our real world. They have a lot of invest, uh, trade, uh, exchange, even have a token similar like equity. But you can think is with a real world link, link connection between the two worlds is very weak. We have another kind of invest group with a traditional capital market invest group. So when you want to blockchain become a mainstream industry like the internet today, you have to link to the real business scenario. But when you want to link the real business scenario, it's not, it's a totally another story. It cannot just use private key or public key to control everything. In many things, you need to support. And uh, also, many of the enterprise level solution, they want to be public. They choose a public platform. They're also facing a lot of difficulty. So one, actually, is many issues already be there, but the two important issues. One is performance. I guess already heard. The Ethereum is performance. Neo have a higher performance. Uh, but for the large scope for that, the performance is not only in TPS. It's about st storage, and it's about a lot of other things, even the networking. Another big issue is how to link to the real world. We have a trust in the digital world, just use our private key or the other security technical. But in the real world, how to build the trust? So this is two things is encourage us. We need a new public blockchain platform. So that is why ontology is coming. Ontology actually is, uh, many people think it's, it's an identity private or other data exchange protocol. But uh, that is only part of modules of ontology. Ontology actually is two point important, the main points. The first one is, a new public multiple chain project 
why we use multiple chain, uh, I have talked about one is performance, how to be flexible to do the things. But performance is not the, the, the key issues. Another issue is for the real business scenario, they have a lot of requirements. The requirements is not only the decentralized application level, it's kind of more deeply animal. They want their, their own blockchain with their own governance model, maybe with different consensus model. And they need their own permission policy. So many times you need to do the deeply customization. That is the real business requirements. Another is we need a dispute trust cooperation platform. That is not only a slogan or just some idea. It's a kind of bridge how to link the digital world with the real world. So I want, the next I want to uh, use uh, the slide to quickly to check. Could you help me for the slides? Thank you. Um, so today I don't want to more detail about the uh, architecture because it's more technical guy, technical detail. I will mention about that. I will more focus on dispute trust network. So the trust, the word, I don't want to repeat it again because a lot of people heard, talk about it. Actually, it's only one thing is blockchain owning is for trust. If the scenario have no trust issues, the blockchain is not necessary. So when we talk about trust is one thing, is where the trust actually flow. So when you think deeply about the trust, you will think a lot of things. This one is tiger shaped tally, is from the Asian China. This is tiger have two parts. One is for emperor, another for general. And once the two parts can, can match up together. No matter who you are, you can take that assigned army. No matter who you are, don't, don't matter they know you or not. So that is kind of trust, owning based on technology. So that is one part of tech. So why the blockchain is so revolutionary solution? Because this is first time we can use, build a whole mechanism Owning based on trust mechanism, owning based on technology. Before we have the like the, uh, the digital uh, the electronics uh, signature or the, the certification, or use functionality level, vertical functionality. But blockchain give our uh, the ecosystem a, a complex mechanism. But the question is, is that good enough? Maybe not. When you review your daily life. Okay, sorry. Um, when you review the daily life, you will find your house, your certificates, and a lot of things, all is supported by the legal system, not your private key. Even your business contract, a lot of things. The legal system from different country still supports most business and our daily life and daily trust. So that is big trust source in our current world. Actually, the real world, we call that. So when the technical plus the legal system still not cover everything, we still have the third dimension is from a community, people by people. That is, is, uh, is actually is uh, original trust the, in the group. But the issues of community trust is difficult to use in the large scope because you, you know the people very deeply is time consuming. You cannot do a large scope. But a lot of technical innovation is try to use the community base trust in the large scope. Actually, a lot of, lot of, lots of training is doing that. Even the Google's page rank also is kind of community trust between the pages. It's actually in the people, it's the same idea, people by people, how to build a trust. So we have a three dimension for the trust build today. But when we check the reality of today, you still find a lot of issues. I don't want to list one by one. Maybe everyone can list a lot of even more than that. So a lot of trust issue when checked. That's why 
Because even for our every person, every individual, you have no enough power to control your trust. You have to depend on the different centralized the service from government, from enterprise, or from big company. So what is we want to use is we want to integrate different trust source as a central as a unique ways and a process to build that support platform to support that. So that's why you want to do the ontology. So it's uh, integrated different trust source and build the trust ecosystem. So, and I want to use one minute to talk about the architecture of ontology. A lot of details, we will have a yellow technical paper soon and a white paper technical also as well. But just one highlight is there will be one or several multiple blockchain, public blockchain for different service. And also have the business blockchain. Just I mentioned is deeply cost measured for di different vertical business blockchain. And those blockchain can uh, interact together, use uh, protocol group. Maybe currently a lot of the interaction, chain interaction, the, the, the uh, protocol like Cosmos, Procter, and uh, each block protocol maybe will focus on different scenarios. Sometimes it's digital assets change, sometimes it's identity mapping. So when we have you do the uh, interaction between the different blockchain, this should have a focus on different scenario. When different scenario, you, ch you, you need to choose different protocol to support that. So we need a protocol group to do that based on your scenario. So that is called as architecture's chain network architecture. So let's build the infrastructure for that. Okay. So that is uh, best structure. Ontology will focus on the infrastructure about the multiple chain and the modules of the trust, build the trust ecosystem, the module, common modules to do that and to support more scenario. And uh, I want to check some scenario about the back end, uh, the, so the day I want, don't want to check about technology. Um, first scenario you already heard is multiple uh, source identity system. The, that is will be the common module in ontology. That is not an ID service provider. It's just a framework or kind of marketplace. Every verification service can list their service on, on this way. That means they use a decentralized protocol or framework to manage the centralized or decentralized trust source. Like government, school, company, even every individual can be the service private. You can prove everything you know on the decentralized platform. And also you can do the client about your owner information. The best on that, this means everyone can have a trust package. The trust package includes this information or verification information from a different source. Whenever you go, or what kind of a business you are doing, you can use different information to prove yourself very easily. You control your trust by your together, by your by yourself, actually, integrated together. And the idea can expand to the more scope. One is for the objects, the IoT devices. You can use multiple devices and management as this way. And also include the content and the, the, the distributed exchange based on that. And the data behind the data entity also have the data exchange protocol based on that. So basically that's when you have the entity can be decentralized management, you can use a collaborative and a collaboration platform to do the cross country, cross industry, and the cross different business scenario based on that. And have more other equity management and the, the entity based on. And another thing, based on you have the different identity management, you can have the diff disputed community management. Like the dispute Facebook, you can easily figure out, verify which kind of member in your community and it's to, to manage the different uh, uh, members' verification and even reputation. And the content management, different uh, virtual content. 
reputation, build a reputation. Currently in China, I have uh, only one online uh, credit score called Sesame from Alibaba. But this is only is from your e-commerce uh, data, in commercial data in the Alibaba's website. That is only parts of your information. In the future, the different information should have a different rating system. You should have a different uh, the credit score based on the different information. You can use in a different scenario based on it. Okay, based on those information, one is inf uh, inference in the future is maybe financial, inclusive financial. Next times, everyone can do their risk control by themselves. And uh, the financial institution is needed to verify or just verify the information you private. They need to collect information and build their risk control uh, mechanism or modules. That's why I'm more easy to do that. So, and uh, more scenario we are coming to cover that. So just for the dispute change and the final one minute, I just want to quickly to show the in the first phase in uh, Q2, the ontology will launch the mandate, include the, the functionality. And, uh, let me change to the website. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, in Q Q2, we will launch the first version of ontology. They will include the, the, the metrics about the product. In the first uh, infrastructure level, include the ontology blockchain, one or multiple public blockchain. And uh, ontology blockchain framework is a modularized framework. You can use that to easily do the deeply customization, build your own uh, public blockchain based on that. And the ontology interaction protocol is just I mentioned is protocol group include the near X and also in, can can support the, the different uh, uh, interaction the protocols and on ontology ID is not an ID private it's just uh, just I mentioned it's a framework and marketplace every ID service like the new ID or the other ID service can list their service on the uh, framework to do that data is dispute data exchange protocol. And everyone can build your own uh, data exchange, dispute data exchange on ontology space. Ontology score is a common module for building the reputation system, but the logic from different rating system can build by different partners. And uh, on the applications level, have the, in the first version, we have the three important application. On two is the integrated clients ontology, including the digital assets management, personal identification verification, identity verification service management, and the data exchange management. And uh, ONT TSE is trust search engine. It's uh, overall search engine can search out uh, all the service, all the people, all the objects, information on ontology. But the difference with current search engine like Google is you can verify everything you searched out which is true and which is not, and which is good and which is bad. And you can invoke your service directly. And ONT DDXF is a framework to help you to build your own data exchange. Um, sorry, I have not taken the slides. A lot of slides be here. A very brief introduction about ontology. And uh, thanks for your time. Thank you.